It's Tuesday. I'm Therese Garnier in Washington, D.C. Here's what we are following right now on Newsy. Twitter penalized Donald Trump Jr. for posting misinformation regarding hydroxychloroquine on Tuesday. The tweet featured a viral video showing a group of doctors making false claims about the coronavirus pandemic. Twitter ordered the president's son to delete the misleading tweet and limited his account for 12 hours. Facebook and YouTube also removed the video from their platforms. This comes as social media giants like Twitter are taking a tougher stance on misleading posts. Protesters are suing the Trump administration after federal agents put boots on the ground during recent demonstrations in Portland. Protect Democracy, a nonprofit organization, filed the lawsuit in federal court right here in Washington, D.C. According to the complaint, federal law allows officials to protect federal property, but it argues agents, agents in Portland went beyond protecting property. It mentions incidents where tear gas, rubber bullets, and flashbang grenades were shot at crowds and accuses the president of trying to create a federal domestic police force. A National Guardsman testified before Congress today about the decision to clear protesters from the park outside of the White House. Major Adam DeMarco challenged Attorney General Barr's account of the events that day. In the past, Barr defended use of force to clear protesters, but stated it had nothing to do with the photo op staged by President Donald Trump minutes later. DeMarco testified demonstrators were cleared from the park after security fencing arrived for installation. Now be sure to keep checking in with us here at Newsy for the latest information. And you can also get on your computer and follow us on Facebook or Twitter or your phone as well. So don't go anywhere. We have some more stories coming up right now on Newsy.